Hey folks, welcome back to Cats and Kilos. So tonight's video is gonna be for you shuffle dancers out there. I have not forgotten about you. And it's actually based on a question from one of you from way back related to me wearing socks in my basement when I was doing it. And the question was along the lines of whether or not it would work with shoes. And the answer is yes. And what I responded uh, to with the poster of the question was that the way it would work is you almost have to create a bit of a jump to it and make yourself almost weightless between the moves. And so would this happen? Well, I'm about to show you that it can, and that is why I am in my garage in the middle of the night to try this outside right now. All right, so I picked out the oldest running shoes I have, and I thought, let's try this on a driveway, not the ideal surface. So that wasn't really much of a problem. The poster actually asked about the running man specifically. And so we did that, but I also tossed in a couple of other things to show that it really applies to all the moves that we covered. And all of this is just like making yourself a little bit more weightless. Now, yes, when you're starting out and your socks on a smooth surface might be the easier way to start. But eventually, if you had almost a bit of a hop to it, you could pretty much do it at any surface. Having said that, I've never tried it, say, on sand. That would be probably pretty tough, but I think, I think it would actually work. I don't see there being a problem. Carpet, I've actually done that on carpet, believe it or not, and that was no problem. That actually worked very well. All right, so that's it for tonight. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.